Hi guys, so it's a new season. You might be looking at what driver to use. I'm gonna give you a top 10 of drivers that you should be looking to try in 2015. I'm gonna start with number 10, the Callaway V-Series. This one came out uh, back end of 2014. It's incredibly light. It's using a lot of the um, technology from the Warbird, the looking and designing. It's fantastic for generating club head speed. The, the disadvantage of it is not super adjustable, so it's not the most adjustable driver in the world, and it's suitable for kind of every range of golfer. There's been high handicappers using it and even tour players winning on tour with it, so it's one to definitely try. So number nine is the Callaway Alpha 815, the new range of drivers come from Callaway. And this is the one with the gravity core in the middle of the driver head. The advantage of this is you can change the spin rates from higher to lower depending on the gravity core positioning. It comes in two models, so it comes in the normal Alpha 815 and the double black diamond. Uh, its weaknesses, to be fair, it's adjustable. In testing, it wasn't massively seen to, to change the spin rates that much, but that's down to the individual and the fitter you're getting as well, guys. It's suitable for both areas of golfers because they've got a very forgiving model, which is the 815 Alpha, and then they've got the double black diamond model, which is more suited to your elite golfer, guys. It's definitely worth having a go at. Right, number eight is the Ping G30, so the Turbulators. This is the one with the fins on top of the head to reduce drag and make the club head speed travel faster. And it does work. I tested that earlier on in the year and it is a fantastic driver. It's definitely one that you should be trying. It also comes in a straight flight technology for players who hit the ball a bit too far to the right. It's adjustable in loft, so it goes up and down a degree and up and down by half a degree or 0.6 of a degree to be precise. Uh, very easy to hit, very forgiving. A few people might get put off by the actual design features on the top, they might not like the turbulators, but it's definitely one to try for all different ranges of golfers because it comes in the different models as named just before. For number seven, it's the Shrixen Z745 driver. This is one I tested a while ago back at the Grove and I can't wait to get my hands back on it again. Uh, Shrixen, I've not, I'll be honest with you, I've not really liked the Shrixen driver ever, but this one that came out was pretty awesome. I'll be honest with you, it almost generated the most ball speed out of any of the drivers that I've tested this year and it was very, very easy to hit. The big kind of selling point for it, it has an adjustable weight that goes from front to back, which a few of the drivers are doing, which are up, slightly up, higher up in the leaderboard. The thing is with, I think that's going to really put people off the Shrixen, is the name is just not as high brand, it's not as uh, big a brand as some of the other manufacturers out there. So it's going to have to battle and fight its way to get to the top of that list. But it's definitely one to try, guys. I don't believe it's maybe suited for the, the higher handicappers. I think it's more aimed towards your better players for... Forgiveness, it's up there, but it's not the most forgiving. A little bit of adjustability and a very, very good looking club. In number six, it's the TaylorMade Aero Burner. So this is one that's come out white head and it's the most aerodynamic driver apparently on the market. So it's fighting up against the Ping G30. Uh, it's even got that much aerodynamics. It's even got a, a little fin across the hosel as well. So it's, it's stripping everything it's back. It's very, very, very light. And it's even got a small dimpling effect on the top of the head. Uh, it's definitely one to try if you're after more power. Um, it's long, the shaft is mega long, so it's maybe not for one who are after accuracy, but when I did some testing with Rob Potter, my 13 handicap, it was definitely the one that he hit the furthest. It's worth trying, it's not adjustable, so it's proper grip it and rip it technology, and it's, it might not suit everybody's eye, so it's one to try if you're after more distance. Number five driver is the Mizuno JPX 850. This is the blue driver, the electric blue driver that is pretty impressive. And again, coming down to drivers, I've not tested a great deal of Mizunos before, and it's got some very clever ways of adjusting the weights around the head. So it has four weights in the head. You can move them in the middle channel, in the side channels. It's a great looking club if you like blue. Um, it comes with also as a way, a, well, a way where you can actually change the loft. You can change the loft and change the weights the most innovative driver that uh, Mizuno have ever done and it's definitely worth trying if you're a Mizuno fan because I know they've got a lot of fans in the irons as well guys so give it a go, give it a try. Number four driver, now this is one that I've just tested recently but unfortunately can't re release the reviews just yet but it's good. It's the Cobra Fly Z and the Fly Z Plus. Very colourful drivers, comes in different, many different colours. Uh, it's the one where the Fly Z just has the big weight at the back and the Fly Z Plus has a weight that you can move from front to back. It's adjustable in the hosel like most of the drivers are now, so you can change the loft and change the direction to a degree. Um, and it, it is bright. Now, it might not suit everybody's eye. 
I think the Fly Z Plus version comes in a slightly more kind of a subtle colouring system, but a lot of the other ones are very, very bright, very Ricky Fowler-esque, bright orange and bright blue. Check out the reviews that are coming to the channel very soon, guys, because Cobra are making some really good clubs with the Fly Z and the Fly Z Plus drivers. But you've got to check those out, guys. It's going to suit different types of golfer. Fly Z, very forgiving for the higher handicapper and Fly Z Plus, the elite player who's after to be able to change the central gravity to reduce the spin race to hit the ball further. Number three driver is the TaylorMade R15 driver. So this is, this is pretty much the uh, SLDR2. Um, it's the SLDR technology with the white head, so it's bringing in a bit of the R series that TaylorMade have been so renowned for, and it's blended into one driver that's adjustable, it's very, very good looking. It's got a white head and a black head in the 460 version. And the 430 version only does actually come in white. It's the one that I've been tinkering with and playing a little bit about with. Uh, it's got two weights now in the adjustable sliding mechanism. So the advantage of that, if you separate the two weights, you can get lots of forgiveness. If you want more power, you put the two weights together and it gives you lots of power. The thing with it is that it might not suit every single golf because it's a very, very low spinning driver. So unless you're generating enough club head speed or if you're hitting the ball a long way, the spin rates might not suit your game, but go and get fitted, go and give it a try. Uh, and again, it comes in white and black, so it's covering the guys who don't like particularly like a bright white driver. One to test and it's in my top three. Number two drivers is the Nike Vapor drivers. So we've got the speed, powerful, big hitting, big head with the, the vault colour, the kind of limey green colour that's got that big gravity channel at the back, a big slot at the back, sorry. And that's to help you hit the ball a long way. They've also got the Pro version, which is the smaller head, which is the one that I really liked when I reviewed it. And also you've got the Flex driver, the one with the cartridge in the back that you can spin the weight front and back again. Very, very good looking clubs. Black head, but with a vault Nike swoosh at the back, which looks pretty impressive. It's adjustable in the lofts, and it's a very good one that most of the top golfers in the world certainly playing Nike are using. You've got Tiger using it and you've got McElroy using it. And I think they've had some input with the design of the golf club as well, guys. So it's definitely worth having a look at. And my number one driver to try, guys, is the Titleist 915 range. We've got the D2 and the D3. Fantastic golf clubs. And considering Titleist have always made clubs for the better players, they've made golf clubs now that are suiting all types of golfers. So I've had high handicappers getting their hands on Titleist products for the very first time and actually enjoying hitting them. The D2 is the big head. It's got the active recall channel in the front, uh, at the bottom of the head to help off-centered hits spin less still. It's a very good looking club. It's got a bit of sparkle on the club head. It's adjustable in the neck. Um, and it's, it's got the two drivers, which suits different types of golfers. D2, lots of forgiveness, higher handicap, a D3, smaller head, deeper, low spinning, for you a better and elite golfer. But Titleist guys, they've made some fantastic golf equipment this year, and certainly one that if you've been a bit scared about trying Titleist in the past because it's big for the better players, it's definitely worth giving it a go, guys. They were my top 10 drivers. They're just the ones that I'm putting in some sort of order that you should be looking at, at into this year. I'm sure there's going to be new ones coming out all the time, but get, your, get yourself tested, get yourself custom fit. It's just a recommendation that I'm giving you guys. There's no right and wrong with the driver fitting. Some are going to suit other people more than others, but they're the top 10 that I feel like you should be trying this year. Guys, thanks so much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up. Do check out my top 10 iron videos. It's going to be coming very soon. Subscribe to the channel by clicking the link down here below. Thumb it up. Comment down below. Let me think. Give us your top 10. Let us know your top 10 drivers that you're excited to try in 2015. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll, we shall see you very soon.